yung expectations natin of what Christmas can bring, man, you'll be disappointed. Bakit, Pastor? Because then your celebration of Christmas and the season will be highly dependent on how positive or favorable the events that are currently happening in your life. So, if nakuha ko yung Christmas bonus mo, ang saya mo, di ba? Tapos pagbukas mo ng envelope, ang lahat na bawas kasi ang dahil mo in advance. Malungot ka! Tama? O kaya yung Christmas bonus mo, please ba? Merry Christmas! Bang! You know? Or you got something unexpected. So nung nangyari, tayo mga tao just kind of sway back and forth based on the celebrations. Rather than understanding and following the real reason. But you know, the truth is, the first Christmas wasn't as <laughs> celebrated as we think it was. Although from what the angels sa, ano, sa shepherds good tidings of great joy, the people who are receiving the Christmas message was not very uh, happy. Kaga. <coughs> in fact, in many ways, may to throw some na konte kadabe as a devotion and so I shared with them, you can get married. Sabi nila, no. Alam mo, alam mo agad, may, may tumulog tayo kasi bulang-bulang yun itong ano, no angel, you know, fear na. It, it wasn't because that the angel baka patakot kasi noong time na yun, from the Old Testament, talaga nung may angels na duwante. But it was because, oh no, messenger from God, ano ba yung sasabihin nyo? Merong disclaimer ba ka na? No? How would you like it if you got a Christmas gift this season? Tapos bago buksan, merong disclaimer sa labas. May note, nakalagay. Before you open, tapos may mga warning. Mga warning. Para bang yung cigarette smoking, yung mga may plano mamigay na ano, na pagregalo, na Christmas gift, na yung Pasko, na mga regalo nyo ay yung napagkain, na matatamis, buunahan ko na ang sama nyo. <laughs> Para bang sinasabi ko sa akin, Pastor, lahat ng pamilya mo pwede po yung ikaw. Ba't kayo mo mo nalang sitsakot? Bakit masaya tayo, okay? Eh, iba eh, dadadagan pa lang. Yung asukal, may extra sugar pa eh. Oo, oh, ano mga kami, Pastor Dudes? Ha? Nice kayo, ha? Okay. May disclaimer ba? Before you eat. Para pag magsang kasi galing nyo, smoking can be bad for you. Kasi mga tao, may dropping down na doon. Bili pa rin ang bilip mga tao. Like, hindi lang, how would you like that? O kaya, nilikano ka ng damit, tapos ang tanong na nakalagay, before you try it on, baka pangit sa ito. Pag bumuha ka ko, 1.5. Parang nakabad trip, no? The first Christmas was in many ways, <coughs> sort of like that, when, 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 when it was delivered, it always came with a fear not. Bakit, Pastor? Because there was something to always be feared. Talaga, Pastor? Akala ko ba din, lumabas yung angel, tas paglabas yung angel, bigla, Pasko na ako, It always opened up with fear na. Huwag ka matakot. Hindi dahil nakakatakot yung angel. Okay? But because what they were about to say on the human aspect was somewhat fearful. Kasi meron kailangan mag-adjust bago mo ma-appreciate yung sasabihin ng angel. Kailangan mag-adjust ka muna. Kasi pag hindi mo yung nag-just yung pananaw mo, puro pangit lang. Why? Because we operate as people based on a solely human plane. Inaktitignan natin yung ating pananaw based on sa tingin lang natin. No? Early on in my life in photography, uh, I used to do advertising photography. One of the key aspects of photography 
and photographers who become famous or good photographers is that they see things not the way normal people see things. Iba ang pananaw nila. So sometimes they look at the above angle, side angle, lower angle. You know, uh, Iba-ibang perspective ang pananaw ng photographers. Kaya sa sumisikat eh. So that's what we look at the picture and say, wow! Hindi ko na kita yun. Kasi iba yung pananaw. So in order for us, I say all that sinners, so in order for us to understand and really appreciate yung Christmas season natin at yung nangyayari sa buhay natin right now. Because some of you are here and sobrang Pasko-Pasko yung mukha nyo. Pasko ng pagkapatay. <laughs> Mga kapatid, hindi na po October 31 sa November 1 kayo. Ano? No. Okay. Okay. Iba yung sinyo parang galing sa sinakulo eh. Nagagalit parang sa sinakulo. <coughs> in, in order for you and I na maintindihan natin at magkaroon ng panibagong pananaw tungkol sa Christmas na to, kailangan tingnan natin yung pinagdadaanan natin today with a different view. And I'm not saying just different. I'm saying to view it as God says. Pastor, are you saying to me that... Uh, the bad situation that I'm currently in can actually be viewed in, in a good way. Yes, after that same after the bridge, you, know, you will say, yes, try us, please come to me. Okay, you wish, right? Right? But what I am saying is this, what I'm saying is this, if we look at things from a God's perspective, then how you interpret this season and whatever is happening to you in Pasco will likely to also change. Will likely to also change. So, so, you know, keep that in mind. I'm going to review from last week, just brush over it to understand the Tama perspective. Because we understand perspective. Perspective is pananaw. Ano ang iyong pananaw? Okay? Ano ang iyong pananaw? There are perspectives that do not change. Kasi lahat ng perspective ba sa pananaw, di ba? Pero may mga pananaw na hindi nagbabago. Ano yung pastor na hindi nagbabago ang pananaw? Yung pananaw, no, may hari. Tama po ba? Tama po ba? Pero yan, hari na ang kotse. Wow! Magkakotse na ang ganyan. Shhh! Pwede na akong mamatay. Yung pananaw mo eh. Sa tingin mo yung kotse nga rin, gano'ng kakindi. Di ba? Di ba? Sa tama may hari, it's just another car. Okay. So, okay, now. So we need to look at the perspective of Christmas based on the person of God who allowed it to happen. Yes? Yes. So, my problem is coming to the Everybody raise your right hand. Everybody raise your right hand. Good. Is that your apat? Yeah. Parang ano? Philippines 2000. Very good. Yeah. Tapos, pabrahagay na kayo. Dumila sa kayo sa tayo sa iyo. Ayos ba? Okay. Yes, so na. Nilino ko ang buti. Para makapag-bubon tayo kasi lahat ng tao ay makapag-bubon tayo. So, let's look at a few things. Before I do that, ah, yeah. Babati lang po ako. Kasi next Saturday po ay anniversary tayo ng kasawa. And, ah, ah, kaya yung bumati sa next Saturday kasi related na yun. Diba? So, andiyan po. Ngayon, kung medyo lonely kayo, pantay niyo ang pangalan niyo. Sabi niyo dyan, kasi sabi niyo pangalan niyo sa akin. The young picture niyan is the perfect picture na kalatang-kalata na pinakasalan niya ako dahil sa itsura ko. Okay. I love you, baby. Happy anniversary. Sino ako? Kuya na. If that doesn't change your perspective, I don't know what that is. But that changes mine every day. Let's go. Alright. Sabi niyo, okay, Pastor, ang lakit na akin, may move on. Pero one more for the road. Alright. What did I say last week? I said that what we celebrate 
and how we celebrate Christmas defines the experience this season. Kung ano ang sila celebrate mo at papaano, will define your experience this holiday season. You know what behooves me is this? Marami mga bansa that they're generally atheist, like for example, sa Japan, they're Buddhist. They don't believe in Christmas. They don't know what Christmas is. But I promise you, ngayong season na to, ang dahil ngayon Christmas sa Japan. Pag tinanong mo siya, yung mga salesman, ang laki ng problem ng decoration, may Christmas. Ano mo, what is Christmas? Rapid. Di lala, kasi they don't celebrate Christmas. But commercially, they celebrate Christmas. Kasi it's a time to make money. Tama? Yes. That's what it is. So, paano pag bumaba yung benta? Hindi masaya ang Christmas. Tama? If you don't get what you expect, hindi masyado masaya yung Christmas. Para si Andrea, eh, yung una pa ko ng kapatid, di ba limang tao na pagitan? So, so, you know, sabi niya, I forgot how old he was, tapos niya, bakit ganun? Habang tumatanda ako, parang papangit na papangit na yung birthday ko. Bakit? Kasi, nung tumatanda na, paubos na nung paubos na ruhan. Puro damit na lang. Yan tingin niya, ang damit hindi kaute as a as birthday gift. That was what it was then. Okay? So, paano mo parang nakakita? Eh di, bakit ang Pasko? Tawag ko ba yun? Paano pa rin pag-ibig mo na ko yung gusto mo? Eh di, bakit yung Pasko? Yung gusto ang pagganda. Tama? That's what it is. It's what we celebrate and how we celebrate will define for us what Christmas means. We learned last week this. We learned that it's not the day, it's the reason for it. Christmas is about what God has done for you, in you, and through you. That is the true reason to celebrate. It is work in you, even in tragedies, what can accomplish great things. Hindi daw ito yung date ang mahalaga kung hindi yung dahilan. Bakit? Kung nakakuha ka ng birthday gift kahapon, pero hindi mo naman birthday, so sorry mo ba regalo? Hindi. Kasi na-appreciate mo eh. Tama? Appreciate mo eh. May nagbigay. May nag-get sa'yo. Bubati sa'yo. Ha? Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. No, gusto ko lang kung pasalaman at express appreciation to you. Matutuwa ka, pinag-pray ka namin. Wow! For what? Wala lang. Nangisip ka lang. That's incredible. Sarap na pa kayo ng dapat, right? So it's not about the day. It's the reason for it. We learned, we learned that last week. So moving forward, um, that's what I said. It's never truly what you see, but how you see and respond to things. He had this chapter by closing last week. It's not just what you see. It's how you respond to them. Okay? Do you think that if she Mary, Joseph, the shepherds, all those guys, no? Responded wrongly, they would really appreciate Christmas. No? Nakalagay sa Bible sa Luke chapter 2, and an angel appeared before Mary and said, Blessed art thou, Mary, highly favored among women, and you will conceive a son. Ang sagot ni Mary sa verse, sa next verse, Pwede ka doon. Ba't naman ako? Yung isa na lang. Okay? How would that turn out? Because it's how you respond to things. Second thing we need to understand is this. It's not the day. Let's go to Romans chapter 5. We pass over a little bit of this. And let's look at it. Pag tignan mo ngayon ito, in that picture, magiging Christ pa si siya. Since therefore, therefore since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privileges where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into, what's the word? And now? Problems and trials. For we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character. 
and character strengthens our confident hope. Hope, pag-asa. Lumalakas daw ang ating pag-asa. Hope of what, Pastor? And this hope will not lead to disappointment. For we know how dearly God loves us because He has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with His love. When we were, that's my favorite line, if you've never memorized the verse in Romans, I want to tell you, this is probably one of my favorite verses in verse 6. Romans chapter 5, verse 6. Most of people, Romans 5, 11, 5, 12. Ito po ang favorite verse sa Romans chapter 5. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came. Amen? Amen. Wow! But when I'll dwell more into that. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came just at the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person. But, though some might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is specially good. But God showed His great love for us by sending Christ to die for us when we were still sinners. Ang tawag dyan, the Christmas verse of Romans. Verse, verse 8, God showed us His great love by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So now we can great, you can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. Has made us friends of God. What do we mean about changing the perspective of season natin? I said last week, it's not the day. Today, it's not just that the day. It's not the celebrations. It is the celebrate. Christmas is about the celebrant. Kaya ka Christmas eh. Now, I understand you what that is going next mass, going that in Christmas. I saw uh, something on Facebook that says, but okay, you know, X mass, because X mass is the Greek version of the cross, but with the Greek cross, Ganon, ang alam ko, X mass, na papagulong bata pa ako sa wrestling, you know, sa Triple H, may X na ganon, may X na ganon. Sabi ni Pastor Jones, pag X mo na, kalimutan mo na, kasi X mo na yun eh. Kung muna ka natin yung ibig sabihin, mag-move on ka na. I don't get hung on the Xmas Christmas day. Although, I prefer, siyempre, Christmas. Pero di po ako nasasabi dun sa, wag mo gamit yung Xmas, gamit mo Christmas. Tapos napaparating ako dahil na alam yung Xmas. Kasi, I understand, it's not about the celebration. It's about the celebration. Christmas, the Savior has come. He is the focus of the celebration. Notice what it says. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came. Christ, Christmas should remind us of Christ as the reason for the season. We always hear that. No, we always hear that. He is the reason for the season. But really, totoo lang, ba? Do you really understand that he is the reason for the season? Let me explain, okay? Because when we have, when we, sorry, typo. When we make the season about us, we place ourselves in the position of making ourselves happy. We become the reason for the season. Kaya hindi pa niya, Pastor, kung po sa promotion mo, sa sweldo mo, sa dami ng regalo mo. Hindi pwede. Kasi pag ginawa mo, ikaw yung focus, no season, may problema tayo. Kasi pag konti ang regalo mo, when things aren't going your way, pag yung bonus mo is that what you like, you don't have the right people, it will always bum you out. You don't like it. Bakit? Kasi you have made yourself the reason for the season. No? Parang birthday yan eh. Of course, everybody wants gifts for birthday, di ba? At sa birthday ko, huwag mo kakalimutan. Birthday ko yun eh. I understand that. I, I get that totally, okay? Uh, you know, ako, ang uh, love language ko is giving gifts, receiving gifts. That's, that's just the way I am. You know? 
That's just the way I am, you know. The way I show my love to my wife is the same thing. You know? That's just the way I am and express my love, you know. So, but, but the thing is, yung mga tao na, you know, when we get, when we celebrate our birthday, tapos hindi natin nakuha yung gusto natin, the way we like, tapos yung mukha mo kasi na kung dalawang piso, hindi mo naintindihan. Yung birthday mo, simple lang yun. Kung pinatay ka ng Diyos, kung yung birthday, hindi ka masaya. Because birthdays are a reminder of God's grace to you. Ang kulit mo, binuhay ka pa. Tama ba? Nung nagbabay ko kami na nilagay na ever nilagay sa akin, di ba? Sa mga taong may sakit, tapos ngayong passport na ito, medyo na feeling ko over sila, pero may sakit sila, alam nila may galaw buhay. Diba? Eh may kaibigan ako si Purlang na matay eh. Talo ba, Pastor? Pumatsin siya, may pako. Matay! Simpon lang yun! Oh, sabi ni Isa, ano ba ba tayo pala sa po? Diba? Tama? Oh, may kaibigan ako ganun din eh. Pero ano mo siya? Binula ka sa niya. Nag-bleed ko din. Bakit? Hawak pala niya sa paper. May pambakal. Yun. <coughs> we forget the sense Kaya pag ginawa mo ikaw yung focus ng Pasko, tapos di mo nakuha yung regalo ng gusto mo, o hindi ka nakakuha ng tamang bonus, o hindi mo nakuha yung whatever it is that you expect. Man, bakit yung pinakagal? Bakit yun? Bakit? See, hindi po. You have made yourself the reason for the season. Tapos sa mga batang paslet, normal yan. Praise not okay, but understandable. Kasi children are egocentric, di ba? Ang nakapokus lang sa sarili. Kaya nga pag nag-ibig din sa mall, may hulog pa sa'yo sa sahig, no? Sa bahay niya, bawal yan. May mga nag-attempt ng mga anak kung matatapang, nagsubok pa hulog pa sa'yo sa sahig. Sa tingin lang yun. Si Ana dati, hulog ka sa sahig, sabi ko. Get up. Marumi dyan. Doon ka sa pader. Ay, doon ka sa pader, doon ka sa pader, doon ka sa pader. Sige, dyan Si Andrew na try din. Umupo sa sahig. Buka siya. Bibigyan ka ng dahilan para umupin talaga. Kids throw tantrums all the time. Because they're children. Okay? They're children. Kaya lang kayo mga magulang on the side mo. Huwag niyo ko-confuse yung mga anak mo. Sasabihin niyo, papaluwi niyo. Iiyak. Tapos sabihin mo, tumigil lang kayo iiyak. Pati tigil niyo. Sabi nung mapakibutahan ka na, tumigil ka. Sabi, gusto ko magtumigil, pero ito ayaw tumigil eh. O nga na ba, huwag lang pagkita yung bata. Tama naman siya. Mas wati din, mga bata ang pakami. Dapat siya magpaluhin. Opo, ila, isa, isa lang. Ang laki ka loko, hindi naman isa lang. O sige po, sampo, sampo. Gusto mo sampo ba lang? Hindi po. E ba sampo yun yun mo? Eh kasi sabi niyo po, dagdagan eh. We understand that with kids. I get that. Okay? But most of us in this building today are not kids. We have full understanding of God. And we know what Christmas is. Pero pag hindi natin ako buhay yung gusto natin, napapraning tayo. Because we have made us James, as the reason, if I'm going to have a good Christmas, dapat ito, 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 And although we pray for things, and we wish for things, yung sabi sa prayer ng mga anak pang gabi, what if, what's the one thing that pinagpapray ko? So, hindi sa isa nila. Tanong ko, what if God says, well, I'm not sure kung gusto ko pa rin yan. The things go crazy for us. You see, it's not a celebration. In the celebrant, ang Pasko ay 
kung hindi tungkol sa iyo, kundi sa Diyos, sa Kanya makikita ang tunay na kasiyahan ng kapaskuhan. I, I know that's a generic language for Christmas, pero mga kapatid, totoo po yan. Bakit? Let me explain, okay? Why do I say we celebrate Christ as Christmas first? I'm not saying we'll come at Christmas party. I'm just saying, itama natin yung perspective natin. If Christmas is about Christ, what does He have to offer? First of all, He offers hope for our past. Look at what it says in verse 5. This hope will not lead us to disappointment. When we are utterly helpless, Christ came. You see, everything in this world is helpless without Christ. The word that utterly helpless, sa Greek, sa Greek po, yung word na utterly helpless, kaya utterly helpless, yung utterly sa isang, sa traditional language, wala yung utterly. Ito para ma-describe kung gano'n ka helpless tayo. Okay? That has to do, in the Greek word, the word ginamit dyan is astenea, astenes. Okay? Astenea, astenes. Ibig sabihin po niyan, it is completely failed in strength. Ubus na ubus na ubus na lakas. When you search YouTube and you research ano, uh, you search like uh, Facebook and search engines, may meron isang Olympics, na, this, this last Olympics ata yun, meron isang babae na in her marathon, sa marathon niya, sa Olympics, one of the biggest events, Olympics is marathon, she began to marathon. Ang problema, no, she was several hundred meters away from the finish line, she became very weak. Very weak, very weak. Sobrang hina niya. Gumahapang siya to the finish line. Hindi na niya kayang tumayo. Puro gasgas yung braso niya, tuhod niya, and she was literally crawling. The emergency people came to rescue her. Ayaw niya. And she crawled. Ginagasgas niya yung patawa niya to the finish line. So inspiring. But medically speaking, asteles, astenea happened. What happened was, habang tumatakbo siya, dahil hindi po kumakain yan, hindi tulad natin. Uy, may pork out ako din. Makapunta ka sa pag-inasal, all human rights, okay? Bawal yun, okay? Pagka mo kayo nalaban sa competition, bawal kayong kumain beforehand. Okay? In fact, yung iba dyan, nagbubulga yan. Bakit? Kasi mahirap hapang tumatakbo, biglang nanatay ka. Tumatakbo ka ng hapang. Mahirap. Okay? Mahirap yun. So lahat po, si Pacquiao, lahat yung mga yan. Any sport. Okay? When I used to compete, bawal ka ng powerlifting na may laman ng chan mo. Kasi baka magtaas ng barbell, may bumaba. Okay? Bawal yun. So dapat MD yan, walang laman. Okay? Ang pwede inumin, uh, inumin. Pwede konti lang, konti lang. Kahit sa boxing. Okay? May feedback yan sa loob ng malaking supporter. May feedback kasi pag sila mga kasuntok, sobrang lakas, mahihi ka sa, sa lakas. So, sa saluhin. So, ang nangyari sa buhay nito, what happened to her was, she, hindi nila tanong siya, and she skipped the last drink. Malayo pa lang. Yung Gatorade or whatever. Electrolytes, in-skip niya hindi niya nilog kasi inahabol niya yung time ay yung bubagal. What happened was, her body, her muscles, her liver completely lost all glycogen, all glucose na kailangan ng muscles po para mag-perform. So pag walang suka na natawan, the muscles crash. Hindi siya makatay. Andun pa yung muscle, andun pa rin. Pero wala na ang nutrients. Tubos. Gaba. Yan ang sinasabi. Kasi si Paul, nagmamaraton. He likes to talk about sports, si Paul. Nung sinabi ni Paul, we were utterly hopeless. When you were so hopeless without God, because of our sins, when we were so hopeless and helpless, na hindi natin kaya tumayo because of our mistakes and our sin and our wrong decision, Christ came. Christ came. Christ. See, Christmas gives you hope 
for your past. Because just like all of us here, there's stuff that we have done in our past. Things that we've done, mistakes that we have made, wrong decisions, disobedient, rebellious heart. Without Christ, we bear, we bear the effects of that in its entirety. And the Bible says, sin results in death. But eternal death, departure from God. But because of Christmas, we have hope. You see, our past decisions lead us to a bad future. But Christ, Christianity, is the only belief that answers our past. Jesus paid for the results of our bad choices. Ulitin ko ha, binayakan po ng Panginoon ang resulta ng mga maling desisyon ni Pastor James. And I've had them. Do you understand that today? Jesus paid for my stupidity, for my rebellion. Jesus paid sa lahat ng kababuyan na pinasok sa utak ko. Jesus paid for all my violence. Jesus paid for all my wrong decisions. Jesus paid. Christmas is about paying your debt. Pagkakabayan ng utak mo. That's why we celebrate Christmas. God came so you don't have to stay weak in this season. If my own season of pangit in situation, if my own season of unpleasant in situation, if my own season of is not what you normally pray for, Jesus came so you don't have to stay weak. Pabayaan mo gamitin ang Panginoon yung weaknesses mo para magpalain ka at ang mga tao sa panahin. Kung medyo bad rin ka about sa kasagadaan ngayong season, may mga kapangin tayo at tinuturo ang mga bata, walang bahay ngayong season kasi nasunog po ang lahat na meron sila. I'm not saying bumunta ka doon pagbigyan mo lahat ng gamit sa bahay. Kung medyo bad rin ka ngayong season, may mga alagang po tayo sa boys town na nandun, na hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin magmula. At believe me, yung iba kahit meron, yung hindi nadalawin. Ikaw, pinagpapahala ka na. Ikaw, nandito ka na. Nagbubungko ka pa rin. Isaksakaya ka nito, mabalik doon. Meron tayo mga kamag-anak, meron tayo mga mahal sa buhay, meron tayo mga kaibigan, no? who's not going to have the kind of Christmas that we have. I'm not telling, I'm not giving you a guilt trip for your blessings. Hindi kita akin yung guilt trip. Sila sabi ko lang, God came so you don't have to stay. God came so you don't have to stay. Alam niyo, on a side note, marami kasing mga tao, yung kanilang pinagdadaanan, yung kanilang problema, yung kanilang weakness, instead of tayuan nila dahil binayari ng Panginoon, feels nila. The feels nila. Ginagawa lang sa dala. Kasi naaaway yung mga tao sa kanila. They get more attention. No? They, they do this. You know, they, they'll take the, the chair and, and they come in. And although they're in the sin of Panginoon, they'll say, Oh, 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 ano mo lang. Masama ako talaga. Sabi ng Panginoon, I can use your sickness to strengthen somebody else. Oh, my Lord, pero, bye, puli mo na lang ako. Dapat puli mo na lang ako. Pinalaya na kita sa mga temptation mo. Oh, pero nagsistruggle pa rin talaga. Kailan pa kaya ang baka victory? Eh kasi, you're no longer lonely. I already put you in the family. Oo nga, nandito na ako sa IBC. Pero, nasa na mo ba talaga ang nagkompag? I don't know! Baka napalo niya ako sa Mitrisan! Instead of magpasalaman ka sa Diyos, ishare mo yung blessing mo, tuwan-tuwa ka, nagpipita ang posisyon. Ano ba? 
Parang dati ko, ay hindi siya ka bagay yung tuhod ko, sigmitado ko eh. Eh, panahon ko ng fellowship din sa baba, makita ka sa lunta, kung ha, sigmitado eh. Tingin ko, may isang IBD school, classmate ko, huy, saan ko naman pala sa baba? Sabi niya, kaya mo makabuka, kung saan ka ng airplane ko. Eh ako ito bali yung baan, nakatakakyak ang akin ito eh. Pero pag hindi na tumulong na tadyakan kita, ito si Ben Tumpa. Kaya nung araw ng kita eh, boom! Bangon! Hanggang ngayon, may bigat niya sa akin ang alala ko. Nung sinipa mo ako, ginamit mo yung sinetaan mo pa. Nung ako pala, ipin lang yun sa'yo, ako balihin mo pa ako, bakit yung patawagin ka eh. Nagkakawin tayo eh. People, some people actually like to be weak. Kasi they draw strength from their weakness. You know what happened? They have made themselves the reason for the situation. I'm not saying okay masaktan. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying okay magdamda. I'm not saying that. Pero for you to forget what God has done and how good God has been is a total injustice to everything that God has done to you. Right. Right. How do you know? Hey, your pastor does that sometimes. Self-pity is the most empowering thing. Alam mo self-pity, yung pag-aawa sa sarili, napaka-empowering nun. Oo, oh, wala na kaya sa buwan, pero you know, self-pity. Wala na wala ko. Kasi ayaw ka dito, kasi ayaw ka dito. Sabi ni 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9. Knowing that other people are going through the same thing, or worse, in the world with you. You see, did you ever stop to think that maybe God allowed you to be where you are sa kultos na buhay na ito? Not for you to be down and defeated and be killed. And I, let's play that further later, okay? In my next point. But because He wants you to understand that He can use your greatest astenea, your greatest lowest astenes for His glory. That's the same thing that ginamit the Apostle Paul. Something I ask God three times, to take away this weakness, ask the air. To take away this weakness. And he said, my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in your astenea. Hey, yung mga tao, ano? Nasa maging na kalagayan. Tapos pinuntahan mo, na-encourage ka. Alam mo, tao ng panalo nila eh. Pag, you know, pag nadadala ko, pag nabili ng dali, Maraming, ngayon po, in and out na siya, nakakalimutan niya. Unfair nga eh. Alam naman natin eh, yung dating ko, mas matindi kayo sa misis ko. Ako nakakalimutan, misis ko naalala. <coughs> ang naalala niya para sa akin, ano, ikaw na pakabuli mo nung bata ka. Sabi <laughs> ko, si nanay naman, mabuhulan niyo lang, naalala pa yung mga bat. Yung mga pinsan mo, parang nung binabangga ng chat mo. Sabi niya, ginaw naman, kung sisigweta na ako, patawarin mo na yun, si Jesus ka, pinatawag mo yun eh, no? Ang sabi ni Marisa, eh ako po naalala niya, oo, ikaw si Marisa. Unfair. Kaya sabi niya, pag-pray mo na, huli na ako ni Lord, hindi dahil sa gusto niya mamatay, kundi gusto niya makasabi, asapo niya, hindi niya, ikaw na encourage niya. Tama yung pangalaw ng alin. Si Christmas is about hope for our past. Lastly, when we talk about Christmas and the change of perspective, let's read further in Romans chapter 5. Because of our faith in Christ, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege. Notice that. Undeserved. Where we now stand, we are, and we confidently and joyfully look forward Ha? To share in God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. For we know that they help us develop endurance. Now we go to the Christmas story. In the Christmas story, in Matthew chapter 1, what do we find? Basahin natin sa Pesabay in verse 23. Ready? Begin. I'm 
identify ko. Hindi read silently. Balakas. Okay, ready? Begin. Look! It's not just about hope for our past. No, it's not just that. It is hope for the present. <coughs> hope for the present. Pag-asa sa pagpasalunan. Even in our everyday pain, hope does not disappoint. <coughs> because the love of God has been poured out. Emmanuel, God with us. Interesting kasi ah, kasi the word Emmanuel, pag tingnan mo is, it's, 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 it's a, sa, sa hermeneutics, it's a double statement. Kasi pag binasa mo yung Emmanuel, and you look at it in the original language, it will say, name of God. <laughs> but weird, because it says, if we go back, I'm ready for that. If you go back, it's Emmanuel, and then there's the word, God. Kaya ito sa ibang lahat, ibang ver uh, verses ng Bible, na kalagay, which can be translated as, hindi nagdap po yung statement na yun. But in the original Greek, it says, Emmanuel, God. Kasi yung word na God there is not Elohim, it is not Kurios for Lord. It is a generic statement, Teos, God. Generic God, but it's also the highest God. What do you mean, Pastor? Listen, okay, because this is my last point. If you lose this, you lose almost the entire message. So, actually, in the original translation, what they say is that Emmanuel, the of God, God, the highest God, ang tamang reading niya, kaya lang magugulo kasi hindi ako ay hindi ano, ang tamang reading niya is this. Emmanuel, the highest God, is in the middle of where you are. Is in the midst. In your present pain, you are not alone because God is in the middle. In your disappointment, God is in the middle. In your hurt, God is in the middle. In your victory, God is in the middle in your disappointment. God is in the middle. You are not alone. In point of sabi ng Emmanuel, God with us. Bakit pastor? Because Joseph was hearing bad news. Yung babae pa kasalan mo, but this. <laughs> Imagine the disgrace. Notice the word description of Joseph. Joseph the carpenter. Ibig sabihin, pag nagkaroon ka ng titulo noong unang panahon, the carpenter, you are at least 30 years old. Adult ka na. Adult ka na. So, mananag na ganyan pangalan niya. Joseph the carpenter marries a daughter. An adult. Can you imagine the disgrace? Ba? Sa mga nakapaganda, pag binagin ko yung pangalan, Leo Echegaray. The last person na pinatay sa lethal injection. Tama? Bakit? Nilain ko yung anak niya. I'm sure marami na mga buti pinawag iba si Leo Echegaray. But he will forever be remembered as the last Filipino that was put in capital punishment for raping his own daughter. What a disgrace. Tama ba? Ngayon puro athletes, sila kasigat, gold medal, gold medal, puro medals, right? How about this one? Rolando Navarrete, the legend ng punong panahon sa boxing. Tama? Tama? No? Nung bata ako, wala sa pakyaw. Sino ba rete? No? Tama? Spent six years in jail for rape. Lost everything he had. So now yung world champion, the greatest champion since Plas Elorde, Rolando Navarrete. Ganun ka, big, 
Headliner si Navarrete nun. Hindi siya supplemental. Headliner. Ngayon, ano na ang tingin? Ronaldo Navarrete. Lumabas ang kulungan. Foreign Genius Crime. Sing, Joseph. Joseph! Marry your spouse and wife, Mr. Child. Boom! <coughs> Lord, okay ka lang? Some of you may have that kind of Christmas to see. Some of you may have a Lord, okay ka lang kind of Christmas to see. Maybe some of you have a Lord, talaga lang Christmas to see. Lord, talaga lang. Basko talaga. I've spent many of those. As I shared last week. That's why he minigay to Matthew. Sabi ka ng angel kay Joseph. Joseph! It sounds bad, but don't worry. Emmanuel, the highest God, is with us. Emmanuel, the highest God, is with us. No matter where you are in life, God has come to walk with, live with, cry with, suffer with, laugh with, celebrate with you. He came to be with you. That is true love. Jesus came. Christmas is about Christ. But you were the motivation. You were the motivation. Down to the annals of time. Si Jesus, God the Father, tumingin sa mundo. Nakita niya, magulitan mo. Nakita niya, rebellion ni Pastor James. Nakita niya, attitude ni Pastor James. Nakita niya, panic and failures ni Pastor James. And Jesus says, and God says, I will come down because of that person. And I will die for that person. And every Christmas <coughs> after, he will remember that I came for him. I am in your midst. I remember, as I close up, kagabi pinagkwento ko na ang devotion. Many years ago, we, we don't take a lot of family vacations. They're rare. Kasi sa schedules namin, uh, you know, schedule, body, like that. But they're rare. One of the few vacations we had was when we went to Bohol. So much fun. Uh, Wala pa si Noah nun, butis pa po ang misis ko kay Noah. So ang youngest namin at, at that time was si Franklin. And Franklin was basically a baby. How old was Franklin then? Two? Two years old. That was si Franklin. And I, I remember, uh, that if you're into Bohol, sobrang panis sa kanya ang Boracay, at least in my view, ha? sobrang ganda. Tapos ang quiet ng waters dun sa, sa Pangalawa Island. Ang quiet is, Ang lalim lalim na you're so far away and hanggang may ako lang tubig. The sandbar is incredible. Ganda talaga. And, and so, meron lang ila kasi the water is so clear. May ito mo yung mga sea urchins. Yung baka no, pinakain mo na eh. Pero yung shell no, may subay. Pag naapakam yun, masakit. Sumat ka talaga, you know. Uh, so, sabi lang, pag na, na, na ano ka no, Si, ano yun, si Pastor Jones, pero wala ka sa subing atakan yun. Nakaapak sa si Herjin. Sabi niya, ihiyan mo daw yung ano. So, ginawa ko, hindi ako si Pastor Jones. Sa so, Pastor, hindi naman ako wala yung sakit. Ay, hindi ba sa ulo sa paapalay yung hiya. So, nagkatuli ako. So, pero pinatawag na niya ako doon. Pinatawag na niya. <laughs> I-invite na natin sa ano, sa bis. Ihiyan natin! But, so we were there. And so, I wanted to walk far out. So, ito si Ashton. Incredibly, he remembers. He was only three years old, but he remembers the, the time. And so, so we go and we walk. And I look, it's far. And the water came up to his, I know, his almost his neck. Kasi hanggang, hanggang kalit. So, when it happens, and we got all the way, lying with the other guys, we were really far. We were at the beach, and we were walking and walking. And so comes his kuya. Si kuya Lucas, you know, mama yan, pedua kang yan eh. Right? Pag doon ang pisaya mo, ang batay siya sa akin. Di ba, injection, masabuti pang operahan mo na lang. You know, Duha kayo sa mga patatang ng mga bagay. So, he sees us all the way, tayo. And we hear Lucas screaming from the beachhead. Sabi niya, Lucas, Daniel! Bumunta ako dyan! Ask 
ibang tao. Would you do that today? Maybe you're here. You said, Pastor, you know, I never realized. <laughs> really, truly realized. Because Jesus came for me. But this morning, I realized that and I accept that. Then, Pastor, I want to receive the unforgiveness there. I want to receive that grace that comes from you. If that's your prayer today, would you say to God, Lord, today, the you Christmas season ago, help me to receive you. Help me to accept you. Help me, Lord, to follow you in your purpose plan. Be my Savior, Lord, today. May all us take a part. In this book. Thank you, Lord. 